Tuesday, December 15th, and I'm coming to you pre-recorded from uh, my daughter's tent in my basement. I hope you're doing absolutely lovely on this Tuesday morning. Here's kind of what we got in store for today. Today, you are going to be finishing up your Southeast Asia Choice Project. That is assignment number three. It should be pretty much done at this point. You're just putting the finishing touches on it, the finishing tweaks, and then you're going to be uploading it into Google Classroom. Please, double check on the assignment slides. Double check the very last slide where it kind of talks about wrapping up. It tells you what you need to submit in Google Classroom, right? Because each project is a little bit different, so the things that you need to submit and turn in are a little bit different in Google Classroom. Um, so finish it up today and get it turned in today. That's going to be kind of the, the core of what you're going to do. And then when you're done with that, we're going to do a little bit of a wrap-up. Um, this wrap-up, if you're coming live today and you're watching this video now, but you're going to come live this afternoon and see me live from the tent, that would be awesome. And what we're going to do this afternoon is we're going to do that wrap-up together. It's a Google form. And on the Google form, there's a few questions, um, and it's attached to today's assignment posted. There's a few questions that you're going to answer, just kind of reflecting back on the project itself. And then there's a video you're going to watch. Um, and the video series, it's from Soul Pancake. Uh, you might remember Kid President back in the day. Well, Kid President, he's like all grown up now, um, not a president, um, but his media company, his YouTube channel, Soul Pancake, has lived on. And they've got a whole video series called How They See Me or How They See Us. Um, and it's all about bias and stereotype and different groups of people and how they feel they are viewed by other groups of people. There's a lot of connection and a lot of overlap with that TED Talk we watched about the danger of a single story and this theme that just kind of keeps running through our class. And as we wrap up our intro project on Southeast Asia and looking at Southeast Asian culture, and as we get ready to pivot, shout out friends, uh, to uh, religion in Southeast Asia tomorrow, um, we're going to watch this video. And as you watch, I just really want you to pay close attention. It's about three or four minutes long. Really give it your attention. Really give it your focus and really listen to what uh, the folks on screen are talking about. Think about what you've learned. Think about yourself. Think about your biases. Think about how you see others. Think about how others see you. Um, and then there's just a reflection question or two all on the Google form and that's what you're going to want to do for today. Again, we're going to do a lot of that live. We're going to discuss some of it live. We're going to break it down live. Um, so please come to the live session today because it's not just going to be a, hey, it's me. Let's get to work and do some work on work time. Um, that's really what we've got today. Finishing up your or Southeast Asia Choice Project, turning it in. Many of you already have. Awesome. And then the Google Form Wrap-Up. Those are our two big tasks for today. Um, on to our AMA. Paige wants to know, do you want to have more kids or just your daughter? Man, my daughter, she's upstairs right now. She's tromping around. She'll probably make a guest appearance at some point. Nora is the love of my life, other than my wife. Um, but right now, you know, we're good with just one. A two-year-old is more than enough for us to handle. Riley, how come you didn't keep your stash, wear your cape, and run around the neighborhood blasting tunic tunic? Um, ever since the incident, Riley, I'm not allowed to wear my mustache in public running around the neighborhood. I'm also not allowed to explain the incident. That's another story for another day. Uh, Ryan wants to know, favorite Fortnite emote? What the heck does that mean? Is that like a dance? Do I need to Google it? Is it like, is this like a Fortnite emote? Or is a Fortnite emote like... I, I don't know. I'm going to Google that and I'll get back to you, Ryan. Uh, Jack, do you watch The Office? Yes, I watch The Office. If not, go watch it now. I would love to, um, but I'm teaching. Uh, side note, those of you on Netflix, The Office, it's being pulled at the end of December and you're going to have to go find it on like Peacock or some other streaming service. Sad day indeed. The Office Wales, one of my all-time favorites. And then Leo wants to know, who is your actor, actress? Uh, my actor, I am a sucker for Ryan Gosling. Um, he's maybe not in a ton of films that you know, but if you Google him, you'll recognize him. He, I don't know, something about his movies. Um, I, I just love him, and I just love his demeanor and his characters that he plays. Um, so Ryan Gosling is probably one of my favorite actors. Uh, another one of my favorite actors is Idris Elba. Um, he is a British actor. He was in one of my favorite TV shows, not a school-appropriate one, uh, The Wire but he is, you know, one of my favorite actors as well. Man, there's a lot of them. I should have thought about this more before just kind of answering on the fly, but I've taken enough of your time today. If there's anything that you need, please let me know. Please reach out. Really looking forward to seeing your Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia Choice projects. Remember, uh, be bold, be good to yourselves, and be good to each other. See ya!